Welcome back to Tabletop Glory. My name is Graham Johnson and welcome back to the State of the Algorithm Address. Now, this week, I just needed a break, guys. I, I really genuinely needed a break. Again, if you're not familiar with these video formats, this video is simply so that the algorithm gets a video. For those of you who may not be familiar, once you start an upload schedule, you kind of have to maintain it or the algorithm really punishes you. So because I try to upload every single week and there's gonna be weeks where I just can't upload, I have to upload something or the algorithm is going to hate me. Now, that having been said, what am I currently working on? Uh, I'm working on an old human fighter miniature from Reaper Miniatures. And uh, I wanna say Baron is his name. I don't have him in front of me. Uh, that is going to be kind of fun. I've had two of them on my list of miniatures that I want to have painted that have actually been sitting on my desk for probably the better part of two years now. I just keep putting him off. I've got a pretty good idea of how I want to paint them. I want to use these guys mostly as more competent city guards. Uh, you know, if a city guardsman is typically a volunteer, these guys are probably paid city guards, people who genuinely care about their job. Uh, so they're going to be a little bit better equipped, their armor is going to be a little bit nicer, they're probably going to have the town's colors painted on them. In this case, I'm currently either leaning toward blues or greens. If you guys have a preference on what you'd rather see me paint, go ahead and put that below as that's probably going to be the color of the capes as well. So if you guys are wanting to see how to paint capes in a specific color, Go ahead and leave that below. I am open-minded to yellow, but I'm not a big fan of yellow, so we probably won't do yellow, at least on these guys. I've got some other guys coming up that I will be doing yellow on. So if you're interested in learning how to paint yellow, I've got a tutorial for that coming soon. Now, I've got a lot of fun stuff planned. Uh, I just gotta set some of the time aside to do some of it because some of it does take a bit of planning and a bit of execution. Uh, remember we were talking, I believe in our last update video about, I want to do a Bob Ross inspired miniature diorama, but as if looking through the lens of a camera, so to speak, by using magic cards and cutting the artwork out and basically replicating my version of that artwork in a miniature diorama inside of a relatively small space. And Recently, uh, I think I might actually attempt that with Pokemon cards as well. I haven't 100% decided exactly how I'm going to do that, but uh, I am open-minded to it. So, all that said though, I do have plenty of other miniatures as well as I wanna start a series, a blind, so to speak, a blind, not a blind bag, but like a blind bag style experience. So I've got these miniatures. I've got these miniatures. This, uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see. These are town folk miniatures. These are pre-primed and ready to paint. And then I've got uh, Dungeons and Lasers. Uh, in here I've just got the horses, uh, but I have all of these mini, that, man, that's really washed out. Uh, I have all of these miniatures Put together not primed yet uh, so I've got a huge box of miniatures you can see that stuffed full of miniatures there's over 150 miniatures in here and basically what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about doing a series where I heavily limit the colors that I'm using and I don't give myself access to the whole color range as a bit of a challenge so to speak now I'm going to kind of similar to Goober Town Hobbies, write out a list of topics and colors and yada, yada, yada. And I'll kind of blindly dig around in the box until I find a miniature. And then we'll roll dice to determine theme as well as the colors that we're going to use for that miniature. And the only exception we'll be adding is I'll always be able to use black and white but that I'll be able to use only the colors that I pull by rolling dice. And that should make for a very interesting challenge and a very limited color palette where I'm gonna be forced to kind of mix a lot of my colors in order to get a wider range. So I think that will be a lot of fun. Now, 
if I can find a way to get the autofocus on this webcam to only focus within a set depth of field, I will probably start also doing some streams here on YouTube. Uh, as of right now, one of the big reasons I don't stream on YouTube is because I have a really hard time uh, holding the miniature exactly within the focal depth of the web camera. And using the autofocus, it always ends up either focusing on my hands and not the miniature, or focusing on some random object in the background and not the miniature. Uh, there are ways to use your phone as a webcam uh, using Streamlabs. Unfortunately, my internet speed just isn't fast enough to support that feature. So unless I end up getting faster internet in the future, it'll be a long time before I can use my phone as a webcam. In any case, there's a few other things that we're going to be doing as well as I want to try my hand at freehand. So I've got this nice big uh, shoulder plate from uh, a Warlord Titan. Uh, I believe it's a Warlord Titan. If I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody will correct me. We're going to be trying our hand at doing some freehand, which will probably be done with a mixture of oil paints and acrylic paints. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and yeah, I've also got a ton of Gundam stuff that I really don't know how I'm going to turn into videos because I don't know if I could assemble an entire Gundam in a week, let alone paint it as well. So that might become a monthly thing where I try to do one a month. Uh, but yeah, lots of fun stuff coming. And uh, as always, uh, I have a Patreon for those of you who are interested in supporting me. Right now I don't make any money off of YouTube. We're just shy of the number of watch hours I need to make money on YouTube. But if you're interested in supporting me financially, that's a really great way to do so. And as always, if you're interested in video games, go check out my Twitch channel. I do some VTubing over on Twitch where we just play video games. Right now we've been playing a lot of Star Citizen. I know not everybody's a fan of Star Citizen, but we just had a big update and the game's a lot of fun. So go check me out over on Twitch if you're interested in that. My username is Ovan the Wise. In any case, I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, mirror display case always be filled, and your pile of shame never run empty. Bye bye.